Hi, I'm Cristina and welcome to Romance Food. Awesome. This week's recipe is vegan sweet bread. Here in Portugal, they call it Fular de Pascua. This is a recipe from my grandmother that I decided to veganize. Let's see how to make it. We'll use six tablespoons of aquafaba. 7500 grams of wheat flour Add 200 grams of brown sugar and mix it with the flour Now add just a pinch of salt and mix it Wait 30 grams of fresh yeast and then crumble it Add one tablespoon of sugar and three tablespoons of wheat flour. Mix it, add the warm milk slowly and stir it until you get an even mixture. Cover it with film. Let it rest in a warm place for 15 minutes or until it has doubled its size. When the yeast is ready, you can now mix all the ingredients. Add vegan butter at room temperature. The fresh yeast and two tablespoons of vanilla extract. Mix all the ingredients. And then add warm milk, almost cold. Mix the dough until it doesn't stick to the hands. Now put the dough on the table. and knead the dough for about 15 to 20 minutes. Sprinkle some flour over the table and start to knead it. Stretch the dough patiently using the hand as shown in the video. This kind of movement will help you get a more even dough. Now that we've stretched the dough for at least 15 minutes, let it rest. Put some flour in a bowl and cover it with film. Let it rest in a warm place until it has doubled its size. Use the oven tray upside down.
spread some butter over the baking paper. Because of my kitchen's cool temperature, the dough took about 3 hours to rise. Other option is to let it rest for the night and bake it in the next day. Put the dough on the table. Split the dough in two pieces. And do it again with one of the halves. With each half, make a small roll. Use rolls to make a small braid. And cross each end under the other. Now put it in the oven tray. Split the other half into three pieces. And make small rolls with each half once again. Make the braid from the middle to the ends. Put it in the oven tray. Cover the bread with film. Let it rest for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, turn on the oven. Cover it with a cloth. Add one tablespoon of sugar to the aquafaba, making sure it's well mixed. 10 minutes later, uncover and brush it with the aquafaba mix. The oven must be at 1800 degrees, heating above and below. Place a tray on the bottom of the oven. Include a slice of lemon so that the metal doesn't get dark. Add 400 milliliters of boiling water. Then put the bread right above the tray. Let it cook for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes later you have to place them on the upper part of the oven for 5 more minutes. Then remove the tray and if the bottom of the bread isn't cooked, cover it with foil and place it down below for about 10 minutes. Oh, 
When the bottle is finally cooked, remove them and let them rest on the rack. Hope you like this Easter recipe. For any questions or comments, can, you can write below. And for more videos, subscribe here. See you soon here in Roman's Food. Bye!